So hello, hi. ma'am. Hi. How are you? We're doing great, ma'am. What about you? I'm also pretty good. Thank you for asking. Finally, we are here. We have been uh, deciding for our session for a very long time, but finally yes, we are here. We are connecting with you. So, ma'am, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. I'm Sufi and uh, speaking to you from India. Currently, I'm pursuing my graduation. I'm in my last year. And uh, along, with, along with my studies, I help people improve their spoken English. And I'm a part-time YouTuber as well. That's all about me. So, ma'am, can I introduce myself? Sure, please go ahead. I would like to know something about... Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. I'm so excited to give you to give you my introduction. This is Maliha Bintamasut, but you can call me just Maliha. I studied in seven standard recently. I have been learning this language for 11 months. And if I talk about my family, there are four members in my family. There are my parents, me and my brother. As you're watching that beside me, my brother, his name is Muaz. I think you know very well about Muat. Yeah. You can also speak in English a little bit like me. And if mm -hmm. I talk about my country, we are belong to Bangladesh. I think you know Bangladesh very well. Yeah, I know very well. I watched your con conversation with Mo Priya ma'am. So through her YouTube channel, I got to know about you, about both of you. Okay, yes. that's great ma'am. So, mm -hmm. ma'am, could you please still uh, tell us that uh, what's your English journey and how did you learn this language? Who motivated you to learn this language? Well, uh, once before, you know, answering it, uh, could you tell me something about yourself as well? Like, can we standard? Okay, study? okay. Thank you very much, ma'am, for giving me this good opportunity to introduce myself. So, this is most mm -hmm. speaking in front of you. I study in seven standard. I'm belong to Jaspur district, Bangladesh, and this is my sister. We are siblings as well as twins, baby. There are four okay. family members in my family. There are my parents, me, and my sister. If I talk about my hobbies, then I like to riding bicycle, speak English with a stranger, and making English blog video. So that's all about me. So you both are in seven standard, same class. Yes. Yes, we both are study seven standard. And we are we are twins, baby. Okay, uh, okay, you guys are twins. Okay, yes, okay. Yes, that was new for me, twins. Okay. All right. So, yes, now I can answer you. Uh, what were you asking? Can you ask me again? Yeah, sure, ma'am. So, uh, I was asking you that uh, could you please tell us who motivated you to English language, to learn English language, and how did you learn this language? Could you please share uh, with us your English journey? Yeah, sure. I would love to tell my journey. Well, uh, Moaz and Maliha, I would say nobody motivated me. when, uh, Whenever, you know, I would see people speaking English around me, I would feel that I wish I could speak like them. So, you know, that's how I started. Am I clear? My voice is clear? Yes, it's yes, okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I started, you know, after 10. After then, I started learning English, but in 11th, I, I took science. I had a you know, lot of burden, so I left. After 12th, I started learning English, and uh, I did everything to become fluent in English. Like, uh, English has four components, right? Listening, speaking, reading, writing, right? So I did everything. And uh, earlier, I didn't have environment. So for environment, what did I do? I started... Uh, approaching people online and that's how you know i practiced with them i joined some group and i practiced over there and that's how i become fluent and i consume content every day for you know upgrading myself so that i can you know uh, contribute something in my conversation so i would say by listening uh, content and uh, speaking so by doing two things i improved a lot then later I incorporated reading and writing as well. So that's how I improved my English. 
Yeah, I'm very surprised because uh, you have learned English very easily, I think. So, ma'am, could you please give us some suggestion to improve our spoken English, to enhance our speaking English? Well, um, I won't say it's easy. Like, it's been three years, you know, since I started learning English. Well, um, for you, first, uh, could you tell me what other things uh, you are doing to improve your English communication? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, there are so many things that we can do to enhance, to improve our spoken English, but we do just uh, a, a little bit English. We always, every day, every single day, I and my sister Maliha, we try to make single blog video English so that we can practice uh, every single day and at our home, at anywhere, any places, we all time speak in English each other. And even we speak in English with our English tutor and with our parents as well. So, and, uh, and we are having this conversation after a long time because uh, after a long before a long time we didn't get uh, the opportunity but today uh, i think that we should uh, make this type of conversation every single day to enhance our communication as well and i think that uh, these things are helping me very much and uh, when we get free time we try to listen english species so that we can also enhance our uh, listening skills as well so you can say ma'am that, that this is the things that we are doing to enhance our spoken english that, that's great. Already you are doing great, Muaz. Uh, what should I tell you? Already you are doing great, like you are talking to your sister and uh, Mariha is also talking to you, right? So you both are practicing, having conversation. You know, I saw your conversation with some other people. Uh, you are reaching out some people and having conversation with them, right? So you are, you are already doing great. Uh, if you want to, you know, move intermediate uh, to advanced, like from intermediate to advanced, then I would say we need to focus on all aspects, right? That how we are delivering our ideas, you know, how effectively we are conveying our ideas. So we can focus on this area. And at the same time, we can try using alternatives. That's how, you know, we, uh, we build vocab. For example, you must have heard about, you know, uh, food, like when we describe food. So we use the food is scrumptious, uh, delicious, Right, like that. So we can uh, we can use your know, alternatives. That's how we build cam. So that's what I would say. You can do. Apart from this, I don't think so. You both are fluent. You speak uh, very good English, <clears throat> and your pronunciation is also very good. Thank you, ma'am, very much for appreciating myself. Ma'am, I would like to tell you that every single day I always study and I read vocabulary to enhance my speaking skills. Is it necessary for me? What's your opinion? Mm -hmm. Sorry, every day. What do you do, Maliha? Could you repeat mm. it again? Okay, ma'am. Actually, I would like to tell you that to enhance my speaking skills, I always study every single day vocabulary. Is it necessary for me? You read books for vocab? Vocabulary. Yeah, for vocabulary, you read books every day? Yes. This is I'm telling you. Is it necessary for me? What's your concept? Well, uh, Maliha, that's good if you are reading. But, you know, uh, just by memorizing, we can't use it in our conversation, right? So we need to incorporate it. You know, we need to use in our conversation. That's how we will be able to, you know, uh, use it, right? So don't memorize it whenever you come across new words. For example, I'm using incorporate, right? So if you find it new, you can uh, note it down and uh, figure it out. Like, what is the meaning? And then next time, try using it in your conversation. That's how we build a gap, right? Uh, otherwise, if we memorize every day, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, it will be on only in your notebook, right? So we need to use it. That's how we yeah. build a gap. Yeah, ma'am, you're right because I have tried so many times to <coughs> memorize so many vocabulary, I, but I failed more and more time. And which I, uh, word I have catch from uh, through my teacher speech, through uh, like this your speech or other uh, conversation, I uh, can memorize it very easily. But when I go to read vocabs, when I go to memorize vocabulary, then I fail. All time I fail. That's why I don't like it. Yeah, absolutely. We can't. We can't. So we need to see the context that, OK, in this context, uh, she's using this word. OK, uh, if this this word is new for you, note it down and try using it next time. Knowingly, you know, try using it. That's how we build the count. 
Any other yeah. question that you would like to ask Malika or Muach? Yeah, ma'am, I'd like to ask you one question that uh, you didn't tell us that which state are you from? I'm from Jharkhand. Have you heard? Jharkhand. Yes, we've heard so many times. But it's beside the West Bengal, right? Uh, yeah. So Nearby West Bengal, yeah. So it's how many? Journey. Yeah. Yes, please now ask. Okay, now one question is running for you, ma'am, that how many languages can you speak in English and what are they? I can speak three languages, Hindi, English, um, as my mother tongue is Hindi, and a little bit I can speak Urdu as well. Oh, that's great. And uh, me also, I can speak three languages. They are uh, first uh, my mother tongue, Bengali, second English, and third a little bit Hindi. But the matter of sorrow, I can speak two languages. That is one, my mother tongue, Bengali, and second one is English. Okay, that's great. Uh, and Muaz knows Hindi as well. How come you know Hindi, Muaz? Uh, yeah, actually, in the previous time when we had television, in the time I watched uh, so many times uh, Motupatlu cartoon. So they speak in Hindi, uh, and that's why I have uh, learned it from them. And through I have also learned it that if we listen more speech uh, in Hindi or in English, if we listen English uh, language uh, more and more, we will be able to learn it. If we uh, watch all time Hindi cartoon, then we will be able to speak in English Hindi. So uh, the, uh, through this process, I have learned it. That's great. That's great. So by listening, you know, we improve a lot. Same goes for, you know, any language. Like uh, if we learn English, listening is very important. You know, when we listen, we are able to frame prop. We are able to, you know, frame sentences properly. So listening, I feel it's very important when it comes to English as well. All right. Uh, any other question that you would like to ask? Otherwise, we can uh, wind up our session here. No, ma'am, we don't have enough question. If you would like to uh, finish this conversation from now on, so you can do it. Thank you very much for connecting with us and giving us your valuable time. Most welcome. And I would like to one thing. You have a YouTube channel. Yes, we are having a YouTube channel. Name Muaj and Malay English Tour. You can visit, ma'am. Okay, sure. You can send me on the uh, chat section. Okay. Definitely, I'll okay. visit your channel. Okay. Okay. Thanks. And, uh, See you yeah. soon. Goodbye. Thank yeah. you so See. much. Have a Bye. Great day. Bye. You too. Bye-bye.